So today is the day, get some better lighting in here. Today is the day that I am gonna start applying the uh, peel and stick wallpaper. And uh, I got this really pretty damask uh, print. It's gray and white and I can't wait to apply it. I'm gonna be applying it to, uh, you'll see that there's a chair rail on uh, my bathroom wall. I'm actually gonna be doing it from the chair rail, like just under it, all the way to the, the tile at the bottom. Anyways, I'm gonna try and do this all around the bathroom. So wish me luck. Uh, I'm gonna be sharing all of this in one video, so you'll be able to see like the start to finish of everything I do to this bathroom. Anyways, wish me luck. wall all of this was was just white uh, same with this I completely covered it um, I'm still planning on doing this wall here uh, I just ha I had to order more wallpaper and it just got here today so I'm gonna be working on that uh, if you notice this uh, cabinet was actually it used to be this color so I covered it in contact paper as well it has a totally new look to it I'm gonna be covering this uh, vanity mirror today in the same contact paper. Um, I also am going to be covering these maroon tiles with a different color uh, black contact paper as well as the ones around the floor just to kind of uh, remove that color. I just don't feel like it works at all with what I'm doing in here. And um, I bought some new decor and got some new stuff. So um, I, I, I don't have a green thumb, so I kill things. So <laughs> I decided to get some fake uh, florals I also got a candle. This is actually what this was a gift from my mom. And then I got some pretty succulents. Um, so that's gonna be going here somewhere. I haven't really decided where yet. And then I got these baskets. Um, this one was $4.99. And I'm gonna hang it on the wall. And it's gonna work as additional storage in this bathroom. And it's really lightweight. I didn't want anything really heavy. Um, so I'm gonna be uh, adhering this one and the one that's slightly larger to the wall. So it'll be extra towel storage and extra toilet paper storage. And then I'm gonna kind of refinesse this 
I believe this art piece is gonna be going away. I'm gonna be putting something else here um, and move this to another location. I decided I am gonna keep my makeup board there, but I think I'm gonna move where I hang my necklaces and my headbands and stuff. So that is what I'm working on today. Oh, I also have these two pieces. These actually used to hang in my bedroom. I There's two of them. Thinking that maybe they'll fit nicely on top of one another on this wall. wallpaper beautiful uh this is like contact paper wallpaper i also covered uh the maroon tiles with black contact paper around the border we have some pretty florals some candles this is one of my favorite uh pieces of art that one of my bosses when i worked in the film industry gave me he knew how much i love marilyn monroe uh, uh also these baskets they were super inexpensive um, I think this one was $4 or $5 and this one was four. Anyways, I thought it would be really great wall hanging storage and it's not very heavy and it could just hold little uh, things that normally we just pile onto the top of the toilet or on top of this little ledge, but I wanted an actual spot for this stuff. So towels and uh, toilet paper can be stored there. Um, this uh, piece, actually, this is a something I use for my hair. Anyways, this piece, this little coat hanger or this towel hanger was like white and blue. Um, I don't know who added it to this bathroom, but I didn't love it. So uh, I painted it actually. So I painted it with chalk paint and it looks pretty good. Here, let me take both of these off so you can see it. Anyways, there's that. Um, as I said, I think in my before, um, I always really love hanging uh, you know, actual curtains in a bathroom. That way it goes higher than what you would typically see for a shower curtain. It makes the ceiling look a little taller and it ha adds a little bit of elegance to the bathroom. I do have a shower curtain on a different rod just on the inside of uh, that to cover my bathroom. Um, this is the sink area. Isn't it pretty now? Oh my gosh. I decided to cover the vanity with wood grain. It's like a wood grain contact paper. I did the same thing for the medicine cabinet and I just cleared off a bunch of stuff so we could utilize these drawers a little bit more in the cabinets with some hidden storage so not everything is being seen. And the other side of this corner, I added more of that contact paper there and hung up these two pieces. Anyway, so yeah, still have my magnetic makeup board there. I decided to keep it there. Anyways, but yeah, I'm just, as a renter, like finding solutions to make your home look and feel more like it's something you own or something that you would choose um, can be kind of a struggle, but there are so many solutions out there now that just in the time that I started this blog, um, that people are actually catering more to renters to help them find solutions to decorating their home. And this wallpaper was really pretty easy to apply. It just took a little bit of time. Um, same with the contact paper, but yeah, like it was, I'm really, really pleased with how it turned out. <laughs> 